playlist with really happy songs and so many people ask for the link so if you guys want a really awesome playlist for your summer then totally check the links down below I'll have it down there for you guys but I totally think making a summer playlist is essential to have a really awesome summer so I feel like when it's not summer I'll eat toast all year round because it's super super easy but it's also really boring and not that tasty so as soon as it gets warmer I like to go in and make some super fruit balls the whole gunny of fructose range is all super fruity so I was really inspired by the shampoo and conditioner I've been using which is coconut water oily roots dry and shampoo and conditioner because the base of my acai bowls is coconut water p.s. am I saying acai bowls right probably not <laughs> so to kick off my little super fruit bowl I just start off with some frozen berries I add in some blueberries some mixed berries and then I also put in some bananas and some acai also a quick side note I don't know how this happened but I used to use blenders to do this but I had two different blenders that I accidentally made smell like smoke so I was kind of like maybe I should use a food processor because I don't know why this is happening so I just top it off with some granola and some berries bananas and kiwi fruit and I'm good to go and have a healthy breakfast Do you get super bored this summer and you don't want to spend any more time sitting in bed watching Netflix then you guys should totally try taking up a brand new hobby it doesn't have to be something super crazy that's like got heaps of effort involved you could totally just go out and just like buy some cooking supplies at the shops and just make some muffins so take up baking as a hobby that could be fun because like let's be real food is life one of my favorite things to do when I'm super bored is go and take photos especially in the summertime because I feel like when the weather is better I just feel way more inspired to get out and get super creative and then you guys can totally have insta feed goals because you can go and take heaps of cute photos during the day and they can be summer goals if you guys want to see my photos or you want to chat make sure to come follow me on instagram my handle is at sarah jane betts if you guys are super bored the obvious thing to do this summertime is just go swimming because not only is it like a super fun but it's also a really good way to get a workout in without even knowing that you're working out 
out, which I'm kind of obsessed with because working out can just be kind of like, do I really want to go do that or do I want to go do something else? But if you're going swimming, then working out can be super fun. Also, if you guys have some pool floats, it makes it so much more fun because if the water is kind of cold, then you can just like stay on top of the water and just like bob around and you don't have to get really, really cold. Even if you guys failed like me and you can't stand on your pool floats, then it's still fun. Also, a quick shout out to Kane for being boyfriend goals because I'd already finished drying off and then I didn't get the pool floats out of the pool and he legit jumped in fully clothed to save them for me. a little bit more free time in the summer and you're spending a little bit more time indoors which I always tend to do I don't know why I always tend to spend more time indoors because like sometimes I don't really know what else to do you could totally give your room a summer makeover so I just swapped the pillows that were on my couch into my bedroom instead of buying new ones I thought I would just move them all about so kind of look like they were new but technically they're not new because I just took them off my couch I swapped out one of my throw rugs for a brand new one that I got the other day for only $10. I was like, bargain! But totally guys, you don't have to buy anything new for your bedroom. If you just move your bed or maybe your bedside tables, it will make your room feel like it's brand new even though you're still working with all of the same stuff and it will still feel super fresh like you've got a brand new bedroom. you guys know I am all about the DIY life so you could totally try out a DIY if you're super bored and you want to give your room a little makeover. I found this DIY on Pinterest it's really easy so I thought I'd try it out in this video. I feel like plants are really summery and succulents are like the easiest plants to keep alive. All you gotta do though is paint the bottom of your container or cup in a block color so I went for orange. I haven't really been doing anything with orange recently but I got this painting as you can see behind me and it's got orange in it so I thought it would kind of suit but I painted the bottom of it orange and then I just drew a smiley face on in sharpie and it's super super easy and then I just replanted my little succulent into it and it looked so cute I put it on my bedside table and then on my teacup one I just did polka dots because it was really plain and simple and I think that one turned out to be my actual fave so I'm pretty obsessed oh baby I love your madness I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm working out, but I feel like summer is the perfect time to get more workouts in. Even if you're like me and you guys don't really know what you're doing, like I don't really know how to stretch properly or how to squat properly, but I feel like that's why I enjoy working out so much because I'm still just having fun and putting in some effort and trying to get a little more fit and a little more healthy. <laughs> Moving on, I thought I'd show you guys my favorite kind of summer outfit that I love wearing just because it makes sense. I just have on a one-piece swimsuit because I feel like having a one-piece swimsuit on it doesn't really look weird. It looks like a top but you're ready to go swimming at any moment. And then I just paired it with a pair of really cute denim shorts. I wear denim shorts pretty much every day in my life because they're comfy and they look cute. And then I just paired it with some comfy white sneakers and this straw hat which is my fave but I dropped it in the pool the other day and now the glue has separated and the hat is ruined. Some of my summer essentials would definitely be a water bottle so you guys can stay super hydrated this summer and also some hair ties because there's nothing worse than having hair all over you when you've just been swimming or like you're really hot and sweaty. Also some mints because you guys don't really know how long you're going to be at the beach so you want to keep your breath super fresh. And then dry shampoo would have to be like number one on my list of essentials. It is so necessary to make sure my hair isn't oily. And then my last two essentials would totally be lip balm and something to keep my face super matte. Oh. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know where you would travel to if you could go anywhere in the world. I'm super curious. And also while you're down in the comments, let me know if you guys want to see more summer videos or if you guys are excited for the back to school videos. I'm very excited for back to school. If you guys haven't already given this video a thumbs up, make sure to do so and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and you want to come over and chat, come say hey. I always reply to comments over on my Instagram account. This is what my feed looks like and you can follow me at Terry Day Beth.